Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another beautiful ship from the Steam Workshop. Now, this is the Majesk by Grand, and I have to say, this is an absolutely beautiful ship indeed. And it's one of the few fully heavily armoured ships that I've actually covered. And this thing is designed for battle. It's got a few modifications on it. Well, apart from that, we'll start at the front of the ship, we'll work our way to the rear, and then we'll do a little bit of an interior tour. Now, the front of the ship almost looks like a blade, and that's exactly what it's designed it to do. So you can see here we've got a number of rocket pods and rail guns going right up the centre, so that's going to cut a hole straight in an enemy ship. Now, moving a little bit along the side, what I really like here is how he's cut into the armor here. He's made this nice little indent and shape, and from a distance, you can see the detail in that actually creates into the ship's design itself. A little bit further back, we have almost the handle, and I've not seen this on too many ships where they've got a cut away straight through. It doesn't serve really too much purpose. Maybe you could dock or land something in this area, but there's no access to the ship from that point. You can see the Majest name there. There's a little spotlight on the side, so you can see from this side how it's lit up. It creates that really sort of ambient, dynamic effect weapons towards the back we've got some thrusters tucked down here below as well we've also got a little bit of an entrance hangar here so if i just tuck up into here you can see you can actually gain access to one of the many hangar bays i well this is probably one of the few hangar bays actually not to lie now move a little bit around the side you can see how he's actually staggered the armor off and then indented it back in and i quite like the idea of this it's very sort of unusual it doesn't have any sort of regular pattern to it and it reminds me of a military ship that's designed more for combat so you can see how this area has been extended out here tripped over there we've got these like little windows into the various control rooms the interior of this ship is absolutely beautiful when we get inside there so you can see the blast shutters on each of them doors moving down into this area we've got a little bit of an airlock to access there further down we've got more thrusters and this takes us back out to the rear area here where the sort of more larger thrust pack is and what he's made sure to do is have these rail guns absolutely everywhere so you can just pulverize an enemy ship at range definitely more of a sort of sniper ship so I'm looking into here, you can see the various different rec rooms and so on. I'm not going to try to peek too much in there because I want to do the interior tour separately. Oh, that's a beautiful little room, that one. Moving here, we have one of the side entrances here. So if I just fly basically in through the door, you can see it's just a little cargo area where we can drop off, resupply the ship, maybe put some more food on for the crew, more weapons and ammunition. Then tucked around the back, we've got these larger sage thought thrusters that have been tucked out the back. And they look. I like this little effect here he's done here. He's cut this section out so you can see the actual design of the sage thrusters there, giving it a little bit of venting. And as he's tucked further back into this area, he's narrowed it down from the two nacelles that are on both sides to like a four quad cell that looks like it's been separated. And then in the middle, I believe we have a Titan thruster, just looks very intimidating that thruster pack on the back just do a quick look at the bottom you can see the detailing that we've got there these sort of strands that are coming down from the back a really nice overall design for the outside of the ship especially for a ship that's made fully of heavy armor very plain very militaristic sort of design anyway let's get inside so we're going to enter through the airlock located at the front of the ship here so we've got these nice sort of modded airlock doors now there's a lot of debate about mods people liking them other people not liking them so you can see we've got the airlock going into this section people feeling that vanilla ships are, are much more difficult and more challenging to build where with the mods you just place them in and you get these awesome sort of looking interiors but this interior does look absolutely beautiful i love these little corridors these little separating doors so we've got pipes coming up from that section pipes going into that area there very nice we've got these beautiful little staircases so first off we'll go up the staircase and into this area where we've got a small armory on this deck so you can grab your weapon get to the ship quite quickly but at the same time it is a dead end area that so it could cut off in a firefight but maybe that's not the point of this area so we'll go a little bit further down and this is another little suit base we've got more suit more female suits in this department it seems maybe this ship is maintained or mainly manned by female troops so you can see into this area we've got the bunk beds with a little silhouette in that area very nice well to go back into the area in a moment we're just going to go down into the flight of stairs first so going further down here, we've got a little bit of an access port to the outer airlock and the hangar bay that we were in before. So doing this, you can actually press this button here and open up this bay below. So if I just spawn my character in, press that airlock up. So it should seal it. Let me just press it again. There we go. Doors are opening up and we could release or bring in a small ship if we wanted to. So we'll go back to the camera so we can fly through the walls if necessary and we'll go back up the staircase. So on this floor past the sort of sleeping area that i think the sleeping area just seems to be stuck on this middle corridor it's interesting but i, I would like to see this like in a separate area but at the same time it does fit in with the whole design of the ship because it feels like it has a very sort of communal area like everything is open people are moving in different areas so more suits these male suits in this area and as we come into this area we've got two more access points to the outer areas so we can actually tuck through these and these take us to the cargo bays that we saw before very nice indeed we'll roll our way back through these corridors 
and we'll continue going straight. I like these little blocks that they've put on these interior walls every now and then. It just feels like it's some way of accessing, maintaining these different areas through the blocks. So we'll continue up. That's another access bay to control room. Now, going into here, we've got this big warning sign. So we're heading towards the reactor at the back. Very dangerous indeed. We'll cut through the big door. Actually, we have to spot ourselves in. I love these opening these doors. I can't resist. Oh, so that opens up there revealing what i have to say is one of my favorite reactor rooms it's a very simple reactor room but you can see this reactor there you can just see the controls you can imagine a few a uh, few crew members beep bopping here like beep, 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 beep. you come in captain we've got a serious problem with the engine uh what's that what's this machine i think this is some sort of algae machine but very nice i love it. just a simple little you can't really access it maybe it needs like an access tunnel for maintenance staff and so on but we'll continue moving our way through the ship going past some more control panels another little med charging station there more lockers and as we head up into this area what we've actually got here is another med bay and a few more components very nice indeed and then we've got another little cryostasis room with another one of these little med bays on the wall that just look absolutely beautiful then heading back into this area along here we have access to the bathroom i believe and this is a little toilet section we've got some sinks in here this is really simple it needs some bit more privacy i think on the toilet areas and then as we come up the staircase into this area we have ourselves the kitchen, the mess room. We saw all this from the windows. I love this mess room. Look how big it is. Just imagine sitting here, eating whatever the machines pumped out. Maybe your coffee, space coffee. Looking out the window going, oh, we had a bit of a problem down in maintenance today. And then as we head down into this area, we've got the little games room on this side where you can sit and play games, of course. You just need this stuff for your crew. Not super important in space engineers terms, but if this was an active ship. So we're moving on to the more important areas now. So we've got a little bit of... Um, I guess this is the sort of coordinates room where people would be studying saying, right, we've got this rock ahead of us. Maybe it's got some resources, some materials aboard it. A little bit of a waiting room there where you can chill out between battle sessions. And just look at the blue light in this room so you can imagine most of the combat's going on in here. We've got all the enemies marked in this area. The can, the can, well, the captain's going to be stomping around here going, oh, we, we need to get more power to engineering or we need to get weapons to the front. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got a little bit of a tucked in behind there. So you can just imagine if this room is full of uh, space engineers working away. Let's see if we can get a little bit further around the ship. So for the final test, I just wanted to quickly check its speed and maneuverability. Now, the acceleration of the ship is a very good indeed. The turning left and right it takes a very long time. A lot of pulls on my mouse to get this thing turning. But you can see the acceleration from zero to um, even just about 60 meters a second is absolutely ridiculous and that's what you want for one of these sniper ships you want to get out of trouble as fast as you can get into it and we can also stop on a dime or, or pretty fast anyway so you can see how that's descending down let's see if we can break our ship to the right if possible and we maybe add some weapons to the tab i believe the weapons is controlled from a separate one so that's large ship rail guns and they're the turrets we don't want the turrets so let's just have a fire of all them rail guns on this ship if we can accessed Oh, love the power of that. Anyway, check this out on the workshop. There'll be a link in the description, and I'll see you.